In order that you make the best use of your club through the sand, it's extremely important that you hit the sand with the trailing edge of the blade. This is this part of the golf club. This is called the leading edge because as the club is entering the sand, the leading edge is obviously before the trailing edge. And so the reason you do that is because when you hit the sand with the trailing edge of the, of the blade, the club skids through the sand, the club stays the same depth so your divot stays the same depth. You get less sand between the club and the ball, which promotes more friction, which increases your control. And it's much easier to gauge how hard to hit the sand to make the ball go the required distance. If you hit the sand with the leading edge of the blade, what happens is the club digs into the sand and you get too much sand between the club and the ball. Very difficult to gauge how uh, hard to hit the sand as a result. Now, in order to help ensure that you do hit the sand with the trailing edge of the blade, it's very important to do two things to address. Number one, it's very important to make sure your face is open. Notice how the leading edge comes off my hand when I do that. The second thing is, is we don't want to have the shaft forward like you're hitting it off the grass. We want the shaft actually back slightly. That it helps ensure that the, leading, the trailing edge is hitting the sand rather than the leading edge. So remember, two things at address to help ensure success. Number one, open the face at address. Number two, shaft back at address. The idea is, is that whatever you're doing at address, you're going to be doing at impact so that you present the trailing edge of that club to the sand.